and Britain's banks have taken another pummeling. The pound has fallen sharply. Let's speak to our chief economics correspondent, Hugh Pym. We'll just, just return to that uh, VAT cut, then it has had an influence then on inflation. Yes, statisticians uh, are saying it was the major contributor. Big cut in VAT at the beginning of uh, December, 2.5%. That was bound to have an effect on overall consumer prices, as uh, Richard was reporting just there. But the interesting thing is that according to the Office for National Statistics, a third of goods in the shops that they surveyed had not had the VAT cut passed on. Retailers are just hung on to the uh, profit margin, if you like. And on more than half of services they surveyed, the VAT cut hadn't been passed on either. So that's an interesting reflection of the fact that you know, the government can cut VAT, but it doesn't always get passed on. Of course, it may have been passed on by now, late January, and that may feed through to inflation next time round. So some shoppers out there will not have experienced the benefits of that cut. Right. Uh, now, banks haven't had much of a benefit. If we had blood, uh, <laughs> Blue Monday yesterday, it's certainly Bloodbath Tuesday for some of them today. Yes, it seems as if the markets has had a whole long look at that uh, very complicated banking uh, a series of measures announced yesterday and taking the view that they don't think it's quite enough, that some of the leading banks will need more capital, will need to raise more cash to cover the huge losses that they're facing. Lloyd's in particular took a real hammering. The new banking group, Lloyd's Banking Group, uh, including HBUS, of course, the merger going through yesterday, down 40% at one point this morning, but back to just over a fall of 20%. So they've clawed back some of that ground. Worries that, uh, in the end, it may be fully nationalised. It may go the way of Royal Bank of Scotland, full nationalisation, well, uh, getting towards full nationalisation for Royal Bank of Scotland, and the pound has fallen as well to its lowest level against the dollar in more than seven years, with just a little bit of worry about how vulnerable the UK economy and the UK banking system is to all this turbulence. Indeed. Thank you. For now, thank you. Well, uh, your personal rate of inflation depends on how you spend your money, and it may not match the official rate. You can use our online calculator to get an accurate picture of how inflation affects you. As you can see, it's on the address on your screen now.